How was it for you playing here at the Hurricane Festival? Oh, it was amazing. Um, the crowd was huge. I mean, we every time we turn up to a festival, you never know whether it's going to be 5,000, 10,000. I don't know. It seemed like there was, it went on forever, the crowd. And uh, it's so nice that people come out to watch the band, you know. And uh, like the weather held up. They cheered. They, had, they danced. I, they, they looked like they were having a good time. That made us have a good time. It must be amazing for you. I mean, you just uh, found the band three years ago, and now uh, like you're huge on the turned uh, number one and all that. So, how does it feel for you? And what was the best uh, moment for you when you look back the last three years? Um, there's been a couple of really good ones. Firstly, finishing our album because we we'd never finished anything in our lives. You know, we'd always been musicians from being young, and you know, you never get you never seem to finish anything as a musician, do you? And we actually finished something that we were proud of. The second thing was we won um, an Ivan Novello Award recently in England, which is um, it's a songwriting award, which is voted for by other songwriters, and we really, we really weren't expecting it. You know, huge bands get that award, and and we, it was so lovely to get a claim for our writing, which we love writing songs. So I heard that you um, not really moved to Berlin, but you record your album in uh, Berlin. How did it come? Was it always like a favorite city for you? Or What's the reason? I mean, you you come from uh, Manchester, the the heart of music town. So, why do you produce in Berlin? Uh, one of our first gigs was in Berlin, and we fell in love with the city. Then it's a really uh, open, liberated city for artists. A um, lot of artist spaces that you can rent, make a lot of noise. You can party through. I mean, we've rented a jazz club, and we're going to record in the jazz club from October. Uh, then we've done about four gigs in Berlin. Every time we've been there, we've felt great. Um, we obviously had the option to go back to Manchester, but we felt that we didn't want to try to reproduce the same, because we used to throw parties, and we didn't want to do the same thing. And um, it, it was an automatic decision. I mean, there wasn't anywhere else in the world but Berlin that felt like we could throw those sort of parties, we can be, I know, that sort of people out there. So what do you think uh, about Berlin, uh, party life in Berlin? Every single time we've been there, we've had such a great time. And, you know, if there's anything that's going to distract you in Berlin from writing an album, it's something really interesting that's inspiring, you know, so it's just the perfect place. We fell in love with it. We've been around the world five times this year and Berlin just stayed in our minds. So. That's true. Can you imagine to to move there and live there for a longer time? Well, we are living there, aren't we? Our, our things go there, and you know we're, we're recording the album there. Um, we'll see how we go. We need to learn a bit more German because mein Deutsch is scheiße. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my next question. Um, wie gut ist dein Deutsch? I, I think I'm going to say no to that. Is that right? So you can understand some words, but what about speaking? No, I, well, we don't understand any German really. Um, I mean, we will learn, we've got these, uh, people ask us what we're listening to on our iPods at the moment, and we've just downloaded these audio books of German, so we can start to familiarize ourselves with some of the German language, so when we're sitting on our bus and we're like that, it's not to music, it's to German language lessons. Uh, do you listen to German music? Do you know some bands? Um, you know, to be honest with you, every time we play a show in Germany, we didn't do it today, but we normally play 99 Red Balloons. <laughs> And, and the crowd always go, <laughs> like in a fun way, you know? So, um, yeah, there's a few German bands. We're not familiar with a lot of them, though, are we? And seeing craft work tonight yeah. would be fantastic. That would be the first time we've seen them as well. And um, is there any band you would like to uh, see tonight? Uh, like a favorite band or a band you personally know, like Friends? Craft work, Kings of Leon, Friends would be good. We saw a bit of Casey Perry, she was really good because we've seen her so many times and she's. She's always come to watch our show and we've never been to see her show, so it was good to see her today. She's good. Shut up and let me go!